Menards. We are not sponsored by Menards. That was uh, just for example. That was uh, for satire and humor. Uh, although Pella windows are imagined are terrific. That Algiers, you get a drop in sink for thirty seven seventy nine. <laughs> Jesus Christ, that sounds like a good price for an Algiers drop in. Yeah, I mean that really does. I mean. I don't know if you know a lot about your drop-in sinks, Matt, but thirty-seven dollars seems very inexpensive. It does sound very. very um, cheap. I mean, and it's from Algiers. It's from North Africa. This is a, no, a <laughs> North African drop-in sink that children got out of a uh, a porcelain mine. Jeez. Yeah. This is amazing. Yeah, these young these African uh, youngsters yeah. went down to a porcelain mine, and they would they would get that porcelain up. Did you ever see that movie Blood Diamond? Yeah, there was a knockoff uh, directed video of blood porcelain, <laughs> and it was about these young Africans, yeah. these young. Oh, you're now making me feel bad about savages. such a good price for this. Thing. Well, the children, <laughs> listen. People always talk about how children should not like. I don't want to buy shoes made by children. What else would they be doing? They'd be on the street selling you're, their you bodies said for that prostitution. To me. Yeah, you said that right to my face on the show a week or two ago. On the show, or was that on a phone call conversation? No, I, th I think it was here. Wasn't was it, it here? It was here where I talked about what would they be doing? They would be on the street, all right? They'd be selling, they'd be uh, on their knees licking balls. <laughs> That's what they would be doing if they didn't have the option to go into a factory and make shoes. So I say, enjoy the shoes. You're saving a child from prostitution. <laughs> My shoes were made in the USA. These are American? Yeah. But are you confirmed by adults? I don't know. Even if they're adults, these are adults that have a job at the factory because times are tight. And what's the easiest way to make money? You sell your body on the street. <laughs> so I love that you, who are, just yeah. shoes in general, you're saving somebody from a life of prostitution. <laughs> any, any shoe. Any shoe. That's a, so that's why you buy so many shoes. Any job at the shoe fair. That's exactly right. That's exactly because right. Because you're trying to resist the urge to buy a blowjob. Listen, I always, I'm every, always resisting that urge. <laughs> every time, no. every time you want to every pay time. someone for a blowjob, you just get run a pair of shoes. Store. That's why I have. And maybe you tell me if this is wrong. I have over 356 pairs of shoes. Yeah. And then at the end of the year, I get rid of those and I start brand new. Come, uh, and you move, you live right across from a DSC, I think, right? What? Discount shoe. No, I live right across from a Target. Yeah, but isn't there that? No, shoe? you know what's over there? Ch uh, Chinese laundry. Oh, that's what it is. Chinese what's, what is laundry. That? That's a... Uh, Another shoe place. It's a lady shoe house. Oh, it's yeah. ladies. Okay. Yeah, Asian. It's right in the name. Chinese laundry. You go back there. I didn't know if that was some hipster thing. Young Asian kids making shoes. <laughs> now... I, I, I've seen it happen where they leave the premises and somebody will go, hey, uh, how much for a blowjob? And they go, I don't, I don't do that, sir. I make shoes. I've seen it happen. I've seen it happen right there on La Cienega Boulevard. To see this whole episode or for more great content with comedian Jimmy Pardo, head over to podcast.com. Don't forget to share, rate, and subscribe. <laughs>